Hello, my name is Reto Moser and I work for Fujifilm Switzerland AG. I would like to introduce a new Basler camera, the Basler Ace2 Pro. The new Basler Ace2 camera has some patented features. One of the features is the Pixel Beyond. And this feature I would like to present to you today in this video. Why use Pixel Beyond? With this feature it gives you the ability to simulate the resolution of a different sensor. This will allow you to replace a discontinued sensor without redesigning your vision system. The Pixel Beyond feature works similar to the binning feature. The camera combines the pixel values of neighboring pixels. This reduces the resolution without changing the field of view. Depending on your application and the characteristics of the image sensor, this may provide the following benefit. Increase response to light, reduce amount of data, increases frame rate and improves signal to noise ratio. While the binning features only allows you to reduce the resolution in integer steps using for example 2x2 or 3x3 binning, the Pixel Beyond features lets you adjust the resolution using a float scaling value. This provides them more flexibility. Also unlike with other scaling algorithms, the EMVA data of the resulted images are not affected by this. I'm gonna show you now on the PC how does it work. First, make sure that the camera is connected but not capturing images. Second, if your camera is a color camera, set the pixel format to non-buyer color pixel format. This means RGB, BGR or YUV pixel. Third, set the scaling factor to a value between 1.0 and 2.8. With a factor of 1.0, the image resolution stays the same. A factor greater than 1 reduces the width and the height of your images proportionally. One example, the camera I have connected has a resolution of 1920 times 1200 pixel. And you set the scaling factor to 1.5 so therefore the new resolution would be 1280 times 800 pixel. Important, depending on the camera model values are rounded differently therefore the effective image size may differ from the image size calculated. For example if I use a scaling factor of 1.75 I should get 1097 times 686, but rounded with this model, I get 1096 times 684 pixel. If you want to replace a discontinued sensor with a specific pixel size and need to know the scaling factor, use the following formula. Previous sensor pixel size divided by current sensor pixel size equals the scaling factor. Example, assume you want to replace an ECX424 Sony sensor with a pixel size of 7.4 micron with the EMX392 sensor of the ACE2 Pro, 3.45 micron pixel size. The appropriate scaling factor is 7.4 divided by 3.45 equals scaling factor 2.14. I hope you enjoyed this example video, then leave a like and or a comment and don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you very much.